my name's Rebecca Louise and welcome to today's workout. We are going to push for an upper body. Of course, if you've not already got your copy of my new book, It Takes Grit, ah, oh, you are going to love it. I'm so excited for this. All right, I've got my whole gang with me. We are going to get rolling. You need a couple of different sets of weight. We're going to take it through our first round, reverse, and we're going to go heavier. So everybody, pick up your lighter weights to start off with. We have got the time on the clock. Yes, we have. Whew, we're going to take our very first exercise. You're going to take it into a milk jug. So you're just going to take it out to the side and then lift up those elbows and bring it back to the center. Hold on to those weights nice and tight. Lift that chest up, slight bend in the knees. Give yourself a smile for three, two, one. Let's go. So all you're going to do is just take it out to the side. So lifting those elbows out, pull the belly button in towards your spine and get through this workout with me. No quitting. All you have to do to get amazing results is keep showing up and keep doing those exercises every single day. Lift those arms up and bring it down. So the first round, we're gonna go through this. It's gonna be with lighter weights. And the second time we do it, we're gonna up those weights. So you need two sets of weights or maybe a couple so that the last couple of reps are challenging. So if you can't feel it right now, now is the time to increase your weight. All right, you've got this. Lift up a little bit higher for three, two, one, and release. All right, we're gonna bring those elbows up. We're gonna take it into some walnut crushes. So imagine that you are squeezing a walnut in your shoulder blades. So we're not completely arching our back. We still wanna keep those hips tucked underneath. So bring those arms out for three, two, one. Let's go back and forwards. That's it. So squeeze those elbows back, bring it forwards, tuck those hips underneath and small just little crunches back. Hold those weights up. Yes, this one is going to burn. We are gonna use lighter weights first. So right now I've got five pounds. I'm gonna up it to some eight pound weights, but let's just keep on moving those arms. That's it. Lift those elbows up a little bit higher and you can do this. Stay really strong. What is in your mind right now? What is your mind telling you? Is it telling you to quit? Is it telling you that you really can do this and to keep on going? That's it. Let's bring those elbows up a little bit higher and breathe for three, two, one, and release. Whoo! You are not gonna be able to tie your hair up tomorrow. Side effect. Okay, we're gonna take it out to the back. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take it into two pulses out and then two pulses in, okay? So two pulses out, as I'm saying, like up, two pulses up and then two pulses in. Oh, and we're gonna keep that arm lifted nice and high. So little two in, and then out to the side, lift up. Oh yeah, so take a nice big breath in. Ah, little smile on the exhale, and keep on going. So that's it, you got it. Two little pulses in, and two little pulses up. Now release those shoulders away from the ears, tuck those abs in nice and tight, and breathe through it. Yes, you can do this. Every single movement that you make right now is gonna count. So let's lift up a little bit higher. That's it, you got 10 seconds to go here. Hold it up even more. Breathe through this for five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, those arms are killing. We got 15 seconds, we're gonna take it into the next exercise. We're gonna take it into a bicep curl, and then we're gonna take it in a lateral arm extension to the side. So palms are gonna be facing towards you. Alpha, you look so weird. Three, two, one, let's go. So bicep curl all the way up to the top. Palms come down, they face down towards the ground, and then they're gonna come back in and face towards you. Yes, all right. How are you feeling through this workout? What are you telling yourself right now? You're like, oh, I don't know if I can get through this. I don't know if I wanna do this today. Well, guess what? We get to train our brain in absolutely loving these workouts. If we tell ourselves, hey, I love to work out. I'm gonna enjoy this. Even if upper body's not your favorite, maybe one day it's cardio's not your favorite, you're gonna be like, hey, I love it. I love this workout. And the more that you train your brain into thinking, whoo, amazing things, then the more your life is gonna be incredible. All right, give me one more, all the way, and release. Okay, we're gonna take it into some rows with tricep extensions. So first of all, with our lighter weights, we're gonna take it here, and then we're gonna extend out. When we add in the heavier weights, we're gonna do one at a time. So squeeze in those elbows here, and then extend all the way forward. That's it, inhale through your nose, Squeeze and exhale. Now remember, if you get the pre-sale book of It Takes Grip, my new book that's just come out, 
pre-sale, you're gonna get a recipe book too that has 101 different healthy meals in it. You're gonna get a discount on the tour and you're gonna get access to an exclusive webinar as well. So all the details in the link. If you've ever wanted to do anything to support me, Alfie and Penny, oh, just get this book. It's gonna be life-changing. All right, squeeze in and all the way extend. Keep it going. Release those weights down. Elbows nice and tight into your waist. Full extension for those triceps. Give me one more and extend all right shake it out we're going to take it into our next exercise we're going to take it out to the side and we're going to swing through and bring it all the way back up okay so you're going to take it down out to the side and all the way up to the top now you don't have to use weights here you don't have to use weights but what it's going to do it's going to help build that muscle strong so your bones grow stronger right as we get older we want to have nice strong healthy bones so how do you know if you are using the right weight? Well, the last couple of reps should be challenging. So if you've got like two pounds in your hand right now and you're like, I can't even feel anything, this is time where you get to up those weights. That's it, extend out to the side, keep going, nice and strong for me. Now it's a slow, smooth motion all the way up. You've got 10 seconds left to go here. Yes, extend up and then all the way through. Give me one more, lift those arms, hold, and extend all the way out. Yeah, nice work, okay. You're gonna come down to the ground. Alfie, I'm gonna meet you here. I'm not sure what is going on with you today. He got a haircut yesterday. He's probably feeling very confused. And we're gonna take it into a chest press, out a little pulse at the side. So you're gonna bring those elbows out, tiny little pulse and push up. Now tuck those hips underneath for me. It is so important here that you're not arching your back. Lift all the way up, tiny little pulse, and then push all the way forward. You're looking so strong, everybody. I want you to keep on going. Lift those elbows up. Don't allow them to touch the ground and then push straight up for me. Woo, looking so strong, everybody. Tucking those hips underneath. You've got this. Keep on going. Breathe in through your nose and exhale out. Nice, big, strong push up. You've got this. Extend all the way to nice straight arms. Give me one more and release down, little pulse. And gently roll all the way up. Hi there, Alfie. Okay, we're gonna take it into, sit, you can stay there. We're gonna take it into a high to low plank with a narrow push-up. So you're gonna come up here, you're gonna take it down, you're gonna take it all the way, and then you're gonna take it into a narrow push-up, all right? Either coming down onto your knees or you can come up to the top. Now, narrow push-up, come onto your knees here, lean forward, then squeeze those elbows in towards your waist, and then push all the way up, come back up onto that high plank, and down you go. Oh yes, nice and strong. So a narrow push-up is a little bit more challenging than a wide push-up. So if you need to come down onto your knees, no problem. All the way, and then maybe just try. Coming down as much as you can, and then push up. You've got this. 10 seconds left to go here, all the way up. Inhale through your nose, push down as much as you can, unless your dog is in the way. Three, two, one, and release. Okay, I don't know what's going on here today. He's very confused. He's like, hey everybody, look at my new haircut. All right, we're gonna take it into a V-set, right? Because we're gonna work our abs a little bit here. Whew, we're gonna take it into a little V-set with those bicep curls. Three, two, one, let's go. So lean back as much as you can, and then bringing those elbows, it's keeping nice and close in towards your waist. And then if you want to, the added challenge, you can lift up those legs. That's it, Whew. Right, this is testing me now. I can't drop my legs just in case Whew, they land on Alfie. All right, that's it. So bring those elbows all the way to your waist. Lift that chest up a little bit higher. Shoulders away from those ears. Ah, nice big breath in. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out. And let's keep going for it. That's it. You can do this. Every single movement is going to count. All right, I'm completely cornered off here. Three, two, one, and release. Okay, come all the way up to standing for me. Woo, shake out those arms. Shake out those legs. We're going to take it into our nice wide fly. So you're gonna bring your legs a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Bring your weights in front. We're gonna take it out. We're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, one, and release back down. So that's it. So you take it out, you hold for five, four, three, two, one, all the way back down. That's it. So just hold it out. Now bring those arms nice and straight out to the side and release down. Now, if you can't hold it out there for five seconds, hold it out as long as you can. Breathe, inhale through your nose, exhale out, release it all down. Okay, pull those abs in nice and tight. Let's take it again for five, four, three, two, one, release down. And let's again for the last time for five, four, three, two, 
one, and release. Okay, guess what? We're gonna take it into oh, our last exercise, but before we reverse the whole thing, we're gonna extend those arms in front, and we're gonna take it into little pulses. Oh yes we are, oh yes we are. Are you ready? In three, two, one, let's go. All right, fire this up everybody. Come on, you can do this. Keep breathing through it. Inhale through your nose, exhale out. Lift those arms up nice and high. Woo, I know it's burning, okay? But we are just getting started. We are just getting started with today's workout. If you wanna get this full workout, you can get access to it on my app. All the details are below. You're gonna get daily 28 minute workouts with a warm up and a cool down. But if you just wanna keep working out on YouTube, I'm gonna give you this next workout to do woo, in about 10 seconds. After you've held this up, let's keep it going. That's it, inhale through your nose, exhale out for five, four, three, two, one, and release down. Oh my goodness, yes. Well, if you wanna keep on working out with Alfie and I for this workout, the full workout is on my app. All details below, and you can check out this workout. Ah, oh, seeing as you're already on your mat, let's keep going. See you guys next time, stay strong. And then maybe just use the weight down the side to help you with your balance, and then get that full range of motion as you get to the top. So squat down, push into your heel, and lift all the way.